Okay, let's do some some logic. And the first thing we can do is that well, we can do some negation. Say the opposite. If I say it's not true, then it's false. And if I say it's not false, then it's true. Okay, so that's um that's easy. You can also say that well, <coughs> I want to have end logical end. And this is true if all I say is true. Okay. But if I at least, you know, one of them, one of the conditions, okay, I'm not writing conditions here, it's just logical values for the sake of simplicity. Um, if one of them is false, then the whole logical expression is false. So now that there is one thing here. So when uh, we evaluate the logical expressions and we get and we get true, okay, that's fine. So we need to continue. But when we get false, oh, we can stop. This is called short circuit evaluation. So we can be a, a bit lazy and the same with or, you know, it's like us. This would be like the worst case. We have false, false, false and suddenly I mean at the end we have true the whole thing is true in that case you know we have to go through all of them <clears throat> so so far so good this one is um is nothing fancy okay this is very standard but now comes something uh that is a bit strange and that's the idea of truthy and falsy so closure is very generous about um, what can be interpreted as a logical value. Whenever we expect true or false, we can actually put truthy and falsy values there. So that's easy to uh, distinguish. So falsy is false and nil, only these two. So we can we can say false in two different way, ways. One is that we actually say false, or we can say nil. Everything else is indeed um, true. So, for example, it's like uh, you know, if I say forty, if forty-two, then um, you know, we want to know whether we choose the uh, the consequent or we have the alternative. So the semantics of if is that if the condition is true, then we choose the consequent. Otherwise, we choose the alternative and we choose the consequent because 42 is actually truthy. So even zero would be truthy. I evaluated that. And even the, let's say, the empty vector would be like that. But if I say nil, oh, that counts as false. Again, so false and nil, falsy, everything else is truthy. Why is this useful? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, if you don't know this, this could be a curse and this could lead to problems where you just don't understand what's going on. But if you know about truthy and falsy, well, this could be um, very nice. For example, if you have a vector of numbers but occasionally you have a um, nil value let's say you are collecting these and um, and you just want to filter out the <coughs> the nil values or actually the the, the ones that are non um, nil so you want to remove the uh, nil values well, here's a simple trick. Okay, you can filter with the identity. So what does the identity function do? Well, it returns the thing. So when, when, you, when in the first case you return one, oh, that's something, that's truthy. So, okay, I keep it. Then two, oh, that's truthy as well. I keep it, nil. Oh, that's falsy. So I can throw that away. So, yeah, this way it could be um, nice. And... Um, so let's put together the truthy and the falsy with um, 
with the logical connective so if I say and um, 23 empty vector true and um, you know I can put and itself what is the result well you know with the short circuit evaluation uh, we have to go through and um, so we have and we have 23 oh that's truthy okay so we still don't know whether this whole thing is true or not so we have truthy empty vector oh we check that one as well and that's truthy true well that's truthy and the function end again that's not false or nil therefore it's count as truthy and uh, so now we return that as the as the last value of the short circuit evaluation and that's you know that's a truthy value so that's uh, the same as as um true and now we can see well as okay and and it appears to be a macro anyway okay that's uh, not the point but let's um let's do this one and and i have um you know, i just put a number and i put nil here and I put 42 so what does this going to return it returns nil because that's the first falsy value so I mean that makes it uh, by short circuit evaluation that makes it uh, false or rather false because we just return the fall, first falsy uh, value same with or if I have 42 here and then after just you know all falsy values what does it return it returns 42 uh, what can you do if you really want to have a um, a proper boolean a proper logical value so what can you do in that case well you have this boolean that can um, if you are unsure whether you know zero counts as a true or a false truthy falsy well um it's true and um so that will of course give you this and um when you ask nil but well, that's false so you can coerce into a proper logical value and that's well false is just false okay so that's the logic of truthy and falsey.